All right, we got a 3.25 pound tri-tip piece of meat here that I'm gonna go ahead and put on the pit boss pellet smoker. And before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a dry brine on it. Actually, let me get this first. I'm just gonna use some kosher salt. And they say about a half a teaspoon per pound. This isn't a professional, so we're just gonna sprinkle it, eyeball it, put that all on here. Just a little dry brine. Put that all on here. Really give it a nice coating. And I'm not doing much to this. I'm just gonna do it as is with the fat cap on it. And we're gonna smoke it for, I don't know, two to four hours. That's probably pretty good there. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. Uh, I guess black cap. I could trim some of that off. Uh, I think we'll just leave it on. Put this all here. And then we're gonna put this in the fridge in a container for at least an hour, two hours. Could do this overnight actually. Just let it brine and then when I take it out, I'll put some other rub on it. Now, after you put all that saw on it, do you rinse it off or you just let it sit on there? No, I think we'll take it out and uh, we're just going to throw the seasoning right on once this absorbs in. So, we're just going to put that in a container and then uh, we're going to put it in the fridge two hours. I'm going to come back and we're going to throw some seasoning rub on it, get the smoker ready. And uh, we're going to try to get, I want a medium rare to rareness out of this. So we're going to try to cook it to about 120, 125 degrees. So stay tuned. All right, so we've been dry brining that. It's been in the fridge for right at two hours, maybe even a little longer. Of course, you can do this in the morning, dry brine it for six, seven, eight hours overnight. Whatever you want. We're taking it out. It's got good moisture to it. Just got my own SPG on here. Just got a little sticker on there so I know what it is. This is the one I make, which you can check out my video on the channel if you want to see how I make it. But we're just going to go ahead and sprinkle a good amount of this. And this tri-tip is one of the most underrated pieces of steak. It's less expensive than ribeye, New York strip, and everything else and it is really tender. Side of it, and get those edges. Want this thing coated very well. So this does have a little garlic, a little onion powder, a little paprika in here, and salt, pepper, you know, all the good stuff. I actually believe this has Spanish paprika right now in here. Yeah, it does. Yeah, because I, don't always make it exactly the same. These edges. Okay. And by Dolores' request, she said add some habanero. Gotta use that spice. She likes the spice. Spice is spicy. But we're gonna just sprinkle some of this. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, don't put a whole lot. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, pat that down. We're gonna do it, let's do it right. This side. What do you think? Does that look good? Uh huh. That's all right there. Oops, missed the spot. So I've got the smoker preheating right now. I've got it set to 180 degrees. I'm going to throw this on just for about a half hour at that low 180 you get that real good smoke coming off the pellet smoker and then i'm going to crank it up to 225 and maybe up to 250 eventually depending i'm going to go ahead and cook this to about 115 degrees 110 115 degrees
Once this gets to about that 110 degree mark, we're gonna do a little sear for the last bit of this cook. So let's throw it on there, get it started, get it smoking. Take this middle one right here. You know that you no doubt about it. They keep coming, coming. There we go, a piece of tri-tip steak. Smoked that for a little over two hours. And then went ahead and seared it on the uh, fire. And really had that flame going. You can take a look there. Yeah, it's real juicy. Looks juicy. Uh, Definitely, yeah, I'd say what well, medium rare looks about what I wanted. Let's go ahead and cut some of this and try a piece. Who wants to try a piece? It doesn't look bad, it's good. It looks like steak. It is. That's good. Mm -hmm. You could tell. Does you want to try a piece? Very juicy. It's good. Mistake. You tell it's very juicy. Uh. <laughs> Is it good? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's definitely medium rare. It's like moist. Mm. Very. Is it upset? Very I upset it was good, you know? Mm hmm. Very tender. Mm -hmm. Very, very tender. Good seasoning. Mm -hmm. Spicy in there. You didn't get the spicy part? Got a little spice to it. That habanero kick. Yeah. And you need like the end part. Like the pee oh, bite that part. Really good. <laughs> what? Really, really good. I mean, you can get this whole thing and cut up little steak slices. Be a lot less expensive. And Individual steaks be a great way to feed your whole family Mom. and have leftovers for the next day. Cut it up, make tacos, do various things. Well, this is the OT Smoking Channel. My name's John, and thanks for uh, tuning in. If you haven't subscribed yet, and you enjoy outdoor cooking on the pit barrel, the pellet smoker like we did today, the Weber Smoky Mountain, which I'll be bringing out again soon, and much, much more. Hey. Okay. I welcome you to subscribe, and if you already have, thank you so much. Hey, I'll see you guys in the next video.